Hello and welcome to this RS3000 Quick Start Guide. My name is Jorge Lodeus, I am a software developer here at Opticon. And in the last video we unboxed the RS3000 and now we're going to use it. So, to start using it, we need to connect it to a Bluetooth enabled device. So, the first thing we do is we press the small black function button, which is below the big blue scan button for a couple of seconds. And once the unit turns on, it will start searching for Bluetooth devices and a blue blinking LED will be seen around the uh, scan button. So, I have here an iPhone with Bluetooth on. I'll start scanning for devices nearby. And once they see each other, it will show up in the list as the RS3000. We click it and we start pairing. And once you hear the confirmation beep, that means that the scanner is now connected to your phone as an HID device. Basically, it works like a keyboard. You can start scanning by pressing the blue button and any barcode you scan will be output as keystrokes into any app. Now, this pairing mode is the normal pairing mode that you can use on any Bluetooth enabled device. But if you have an Android device with NFC, you can also use a shortcut. So, let me disconnect from the iPhone for a second. I will go to an Android device with NFC. So, we're disconnected. Let's stop scanning for the device by turning off the Bluetooth for a second. Now it's back in unlinked mode, so let's do the same steps again. The small button at the bottom of the unit to turn on Bluetooth. It starts scanning, but instead of scanning from the device that we want to pair it to, we can just take the device, place it on the bottom. Through NFC they find each other, the Android device will ask if we want to pair it. They start to pair. We walk through a couple of confirmation messages. And again, we heard the beep on the device, which means we are now ready to start scanning. That is a guide on connecting your RS3000. In the next video, we're going to use the uh, strap for left and right handedness. And we're also going to take a look at uh, another mode, SPP mode, which allows us to get the information on a more low level basis. And instead of keyboard mode, we can actually do some more low down tech stuff. But this is it for the quick start guide. Thank you very much for watching. Check the description for the playlist for other videos in this series. And you can also follow the links to our website for more information on the RS3000. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.